getting out early in the morning if you're after those fish that bite at dawn, that snapper and stuff. Get up early, get into the new day. It's just fantastic. I think it, it's, it gives you an opportunity to be away from pretty much, if you want to be away from everything, it's like it's the last place of virtual wilderness because you're in the middle of the ocean. It's sort of rewarding when you're out there at the right time in the right place. There's nothing like a, a late summer twilight tooling around just as the sun sort of sets and then coming home. I mean, there's a, there's a trip to Port Lincoln for me that wasn't with him, but it was um, with someone very special to me. Um, you go out for a few days and get nothing and people think, what are you doing out there? And then the next day you go out, bang -o, get into a school of snapper and you've got six or seven beautiful little snapper. I'm a random fisherman, so I don't really care if I catch fish or a lot of fish. If I catch one, that's, that's fine. And you've got plenty of time to relax and you know, solve the world's problems. To me, part of the experience, I think, is because I'm still using the same gear that I've been taking out for 40 years, it gives you a chance to reminisce. I mean, one of the good things about having a bit more spare time these days, you can pick and choose about when you're going to go out. And you don't kind of, don't push the envelope too much on the, the weather. You can get people into fishing for a range of reasons. If it's just an opportunity to share time with friends, if, if they've got an interest in something akin to fishing, then you can get involved with fishing to share that interest. The experience that you're undertaking, that's the important thing. Forget about actually getting somewhere, enjoy the journey.